Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. Thank you guys for watching us. It's an exciting time. It's uh, we're getting a lot of a lot of stuff done. Um, we've got the barn now uh, for our bison handling system. You know, it's it's calving season. We've had all three of our calves now, which is it's a that's a blessing, and they're doing great. And they've got three good mamas on them. So I love that. This is the most we've had. I know it's only three. Um, and you can look at all these ranches and they have hundreds of those red dogs right now But you know this small bison ranch. We're just happy to have those three and um, the good thing is we've got two heifers and one bull and um, That's just a good feeling now that the herd is growing and we've got two heifers. It's our first two heifers. So um, But all that's going good. I'm so excited to get the barn going as well and get that tin on it and you see the 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 series of of putting that barn up it takes a lot of work but the projects do not stop so what i've got now is you see i've got this from gp rents in davis and that's where we get all of our rental stuff from that means i've got a big project going that means i've got some work to do uh, to put this uh walk behind um trencher to use what I'm gonna do is, I've got a pole and a meter set up right there. And what that means is I'm gonna trench from there all the way to the new barn. Um, and then we're gonna go back to this well. So, so here's why we're doing this project right here. This is a water well and I've had it tested and it puts out like 30 gallons a minute, which I think is pretty good. So we're gonna get this water well hooked up and we're gonna use it as once we get this water well going what we're gonna do is we are going to run trenching and we're gonna run some pipe down into the pasture and the big project is is we're gonna set some water tanks that's that's something we're gonna set some automatic water tanks that's why we're doing all this and so I'm pumped to get some out in our paddocks which that's the reason is my whole goal is to get some paddocks going out here on the uh, ranch so for the bison so we're going to divide it up and we're going to put in some automatic waters so i'm going to mow this real quick because it is tall and then i'm going to trench it and that'll be day one and then we'll go from there stay tuned here we go Wasn't that bad didn't like probably 45 minutes when I hit the rock it slowed me down quite a bit but it's amazing uh, um, with the work that you can do when you have really good equipment just called up GP rents and um, Aaron Davis and just say hey I need this and they're like yep got it so and uh, go pick it up and I did this in less than an hour I mean now I'm not going very far probably maybe a hundred feet but it's really not that far at all so Next thing is gonna put some conduit down and we'll lay the um, underground uh, wire through here. I am not an electrician. I can do a lot of things, but I'm not very good at that. And I do not feel comfortable with it. But 
we're gonna get it hooked up to our new barn so this is the first part of this um, you know hooking it up as part of our new water system that we're gonna have with this old well you know what you might as well use your resources that you have and we've got this old well here that tested great and I'm gonna use it Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're actually laying the conduit today. Um, I dug the trench yesterday and we're, uh, we're getting our box set. Check this out. Got some help from a local electrician, great guy. Um, he's, help, he's out here doing all this because like I said, I am not an electrician and I do not feel comfortable with this stuff. Um, that's one of the things I really not very good at and uh, I don't even want to try but I'm super excited to get this getting the power to this new barn for the bison handling system we're gonna put some lights in here we're gonna put some outlets in here and we'll be set um, it's actually starting to feel like uh, you're getting work done you know and you got people to help you get stuff rolling and especially if you don't know what the heck you're doing you got some good help and get you hooked up so Excited to get some power out here. got our box mounted we've got our two inch conduit and then here I'm running the one inch conduit back to we're going from here all the way with the one inch back to the well house so all the power is being ran out of the barn here so this is our main station is right here it's where we're gonna power for the lights and some um, outlets here in the barn but we're also going to be able to control the well house. We're getting two things done here. We're powering our barn and then we are also um, powering this um, well house so we can set up our water stations throughout uh, their pastures for the bison. All right, it's looking good. Guys, we almost have power. Just gotta call the electric company and have them come out and get hooked up and we've got power. That's uh, part of this old dairy farm. There's no electricity out here. Um, so anytime we wanna run power, it's off of a generator. And uh, you know, we get by, but now we've got that barn and we're gonna power that, put some outlets in it. <laughs> It's gonna be so nice. We'll have power out here, have some lights. It's gonna be good. So excited. Time to uh, backfill. I uh, don't have my little Kubota tractor with me, but um, we're gonna get to fill in all this dirt since uh, since we're done. We've laid all of our conduit, and uh, time to uh, time to close it all up. Right, Maya? Huh? What do you think? You guys see that? Got the meter set, you know what that means. We've got electricity. And it's a good thing we do because we've been using a lot of power tools on starting putting up the metal around this barn. So it's a good thing we got it. And um, you know, you gotta put a lot of hard work into this, but having electricity, you guys know how important it is. Uh, I don't know how the people did it way before us, but um, we definitely need it out here because this dairy barn didn't have any. And so we're bringing, 
we're bringing some power out here to the barn and to the water well, which is going to be a huge project. Um, so our bison can have automatic water systems. So I just filled these water tanks up for our bison and that's what we've had to do almost daily is fill these up. You know, we've got 13 bison, including the calves. So they're drinking lots of water and it's so hot right now in Oklahoma that they're doing this. So once we get that automatic system established, man, that will be really good and convenient and um, it's good for the bison as well. Plus they should be getting some clean water that's freshly ran through that automated system. Stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna be finishing that barn, hopefully. It's a lot more work than I thought it is, putting up that sheet metal, I promise you. Um, I've got some help doing it, but um, I'm excited to see it. I love the color. I've already put up a couple of sheets, and I think it looks awesome. So stay tuned for, the, for that video of, of finishing the barn. Uh, what a process from this thing being a dairy barn, um, knocking the cinder, wa cinder block walls down to a bison handling facility barn. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to us, if you're new to us, uh, hit me up, ask me some questions. Thank you for following us. You can follow us on Facebook and you follow us on Instagram. If you wanna uh, shop for hats or um, some new t-shirts I got out, you can check out our website at crosstimmersbison.com. Thank you guys. I hope you're not rolling in anything dead. Huh? Are you rolling in anything dead? Are you? Oh, not. Good girl. <laughs>